Number 67. When a molecule can form two different structures, the structure with the stronger bonds is usually the more stable form. Use the bond energies to predict the correct structure for or of the hydroxylamine molecule. And then they give us what potentially hydroxylamine could look like. It's a nitrogen either bound to two hydrogens and then an OH, or is it a nitrogen bound to three hydrogens and just an oxygen? Now, there's tons of ways that you can do this problem. Uh, one way specifically is popping up into my head is that you can always go back to your formal charges, right? The formal charges will tell you which one is stronger, right? Remember when we had to do formal charges when we did Lewis structures, the one that had the less charges on the molecule is the more stable one. But in this case, we have to use bond energies. And they did state that the stronger the bonds is the more stable form. Well, just know that the stronger the bonds, that means that if you have a strong bond with like your bestie, right? Or, you know, anybody else, right? If you have a strong bond with someone, it's going to take a lot of effort to break up that bond, right? So it's going to take a lot of effort, a, a lot of time to try to disrupt whoever, you know, is having that strong bond. So that's what's going on with the bond energies, BE, bond energies. It takes a lot of energy to break up um, certain bonds. So the stronger the bond, it has a high bond energy or a higher bond energy because it just takes you a lot more effort to break up that bond because that bond is so strong, so tight. So we just got to figure out which one has the stronger bond, aka the higher bond energy. Well, only look for the things that are different, right? These HN bonds, they're in the compound on the right-hand side. So there's nothing new there. But I noticed that I have an NH bond in this one, and there's no NH bond over here. So that's a difference. I also see that I have an NO bond for both of them, so nobody cares. But I do see that I have an OH bond on the left and no OH bond on the right. So that's the difference here. Now, I went to the back of the book to find out the bond energies for an OH and an NH. And I'm just going to put, um, you know, who's who. So we have an OH bond of 464. So I'm just going to say that this will be 464 kilojoules per mole. And then I have this NH bond, which is 390. Now remember, if everything else is exactly the same, don't worry about that. You're just looking at the changes because that's what's going to make either the molecule stronger or weaker. And if we're looking for the stronger bonds, that has the highest bond energy. So between the 464 kilojoules per mole that is required to sever this bond, it only takes 390 kilojoules per mole to break that bond between the N and the H. This number is higher. So they got a tighter bond. They're more tight than nitrogen and hydrogen. So since this one is higher, right, the OH, that means that this whole molecule would predict the correct structure. So the correct structure is the one on the left. So that's it. The higher the number, the more stronger, the more stable. So maybe I'll just put that here as well. So stronger bonds, more stable. And then just to see, try to do this problem with your formal charges, right? See if there are any formal charges on this structure. See if there are any formal charges on this structure. Remember, the less formal charges you have, that's the more stable. So try it out. See if you get the same answer. Anyway, anywho, 
I hope this helped. Thank you for coming here to get all your chem needs. We also have physics and math videos on the channel to help you guys out if you guys are in those classes or if you know, uh, you know, friends, classmates who are in those classes. I really do appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for all your support throughout this whole journey. My brother and I, we really do appreciate each and every one of you and making the channel, you know, what it is. Thank you for the community and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.